Herbs in Action, reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. My name is Rich Hull. I'm a graduate student at Indiana University Bloomington, where I am studying floristics, where plants grow in a particular region and how that changes over time. The herb I would like to introduce to you today is snow trillium, also known as Trillium nivale. The Trillium nivale grows in a variety of habitats throughout the Midwestern United States and in a few adjoining states like Kentucky, Pennsylvania, and the Virginias. So Trillium, this species specifically, grows in colonies of a sort, and typically where you find one, you'll find quite a few of them, or at least they'll be scattered very close to one another. So they're looking for a very small plant. In its first year, it will have a single leaf that sends up above the ground. After that first year, it will send up leaves of three. And after several years, you'll see a flower above those leaves of three that is white and ages to a sort of light pink color. It takes several years for it to grow to the size that it will bloom. But once it does, it can continue to bloom year after year for up to several decades. I knew about snow trillium when I moved to Indiana or shortly thereafter, but I didn't see a snow trillium until my second year of field work. They are fairly uncommon, the rare species, depending on where you are. And so I actually had to ask someone from the Department of Natural Resources in Indiana where they may be at one of my field sites. So he gave me directions and I went out there, I think in early March, second or third week, and I was really uh, just blown away when I did find them because they're very gorgeous plants. Snow trilliums are really important, actually, because of the time of year they bloom at. The name kind of suggests this, but snow trilliums bloom very, very early in the year when there can even still be snow on the ground. Uh, so this could be in the southern part of the range as early as late February. Uh, and as you work north to Minnesota, Wisconsin, those areas, you actually get them blooming in April. But at this time of year, bees, especially some of the earlier spring species, are starting to become active again, and they need food sources. And there aren't many flowers blooming for them to visit. And snow trillium are one of the very first species that provides them with this food source. Snow trillium, they're rare in many states. So they kind of cross over into the line from being just uncommon or sort of hard to find to the point where they're actually protected by several state governments, including here in Pennsylvania. So if you find them, you're likely in a very high quality habitat and you're really actually quite lucky to see them. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or to learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjbergerfoundation.org.